Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel, or Weasel McWeaselson in this game, uh, Wet Fert Studios, and we are uh, currently selling Ninja Quest. Um, I think I developed an update for that. So, Ninja Quest did actually fairly well. Uh, I don't know if it's still selling stuff, we'll see. And we should probably start... Ooh, new engine. Uh, should probably start researching some stuff again. Like some features. What about 256 color support? That sounds like a great thing in general. A great thing. Um, four color support, man. The, 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 the options are endless. Uh, I'm confused because I think that is when I make my own engine, right? Um, develop game update, develop successor, develop new engine. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna develop an engine yet. Uh, that's still locked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, research genres, simulation. All right, that's, oh man, that re that's expensive. And it's gonna require a lot of work. So let's drag everyone we can in here right now. That's gonna be Maria and me. They are currently still learning game programming. So I'll drag one of them out. Uh, today's con year's convention, no, I'm gonna save my money. Uh, they're gonna be done soon. Complete a training course, fantastic. Oh, I should have looked how much I get. And let's do another training course with these two guys while we're researching here. Secret programming techniques. Uh, let's do more game of the game design. You know, I should look what they are doing right now. Portman is not really good with office work. Um, I think I should do something with sound. Um, graphics for beginners, pixels for everyone. Let's, let's do some sounds. Sound and music for newbies. Very well. Oh, your publishers launched a marketing campaign for the game Ninja Quest. That's quite late, but okay. So we're researching simulation right now. Very well. Yeah, you, you go ahead and take a break. Wish you didn't have to walk all the time. Yeah, it's just gonna take some time. Uh, while we're still making money, luckily, with Ninja Quest. I'm not gonna create any more updates. I'm just gonna hopefully be able to go for ninjas. That might be tight. 22 weeks. Ah, that might be really tight. But I would really love to make it... Ma ma hit that... hit that mark. And going for simulations is, I think, generally a good idea. Uh, and how much do I need? 400,000 profit. Very nice. I think I'm gonna hire someone else. Um, oh yeah. Look at all these employees that want to work here. Man, and they're actually not... They're actually pretty good. Let's see if we can get some. Simulation, 24-bit sound. Economic simulation. Hmm, that's a specialty. Building game. I like you. I like you. I'm gonna hire you, Christian Fox. Um... And we have another worker, very good. That office is gonna be so packed. All right, ATC project. Hmm. Oh, they get actually quite a lot of points from these, these courses. I wonder if I should make this bigger for the future, but for now, we're just gonna drag everyone over here. And we have uh, simulations. Even if we, we probably won't be able to make, uh, hit this mark simulation with ninjas. I still think we should do something with simulations. Develop a game, main genre. Ooh, economic simulations. <sighs> what are the topics we have? Medieval, game develop, Game development simulation. I think that's an economic simulation. You know what? Sure, let's go ahead and make this game in the game. I know I made just simulation, but I just saw that I could just select game economic simulation and game development. I don't know if that that fits. All right. Yeah, let's 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 try that. We're gonna call it. Ma oh, sorry, <laughs> Mad Games Tycoon. Uh, I hope it's not gonna do bad. That would be a shame. And we're gonna go with the newest engine, the Aki. Man, profit chain, 24%, that's a lot. Um, select the license, noop. We're gonna go for the PC. Yeah, let's do it for the Nintendo as well, why not? Um, dev kits, let's have a quick look. 
The other platforms don't really have an interesting share. So I'm just not gonna develop for them. Copy protection, we're gonna go for the newest version. I think there's a new one, isn't there? Yeah, 100%. Well, let's buy the ATC protect, sure. Oh yeah, right, what is this what we're developing? We're developing a... We're developing Mad Games Tycoon, so we're gonna go... <laughs> a little bit more to gameplay side. Uh, game length, let's... Functions, maybe, because it's more of a simulation. Uh, game depth. And more for the core gamer. Yeah. Okay, graphics, sounds, technology, gameplay. I think I want to do it like... Mm, like this. Let's make it fun. And we're gonna put it out for all these lang... All the languages. 213,000. We're gonna put everything in one basket. I mean, not everything, but a lot of it. It's gonna be pricey, 213,000 for a gen drawn combination that might not even work at all. We'll see. Um, oh, Maria, you're still sitting there. Um, I kinda want you to work... Um, oh, sorry. Uh, I kinda want you to work on a marketing campaign. What about some posters? Posters. Mad Games Tycoon, yes. Those are pricey posters. Just to give this like an extra boost. Mm, nope, I did not get any awards. I can barely hide my sadness about that. Uh, they're not complaining about anything, so the development goes well. Man, this is slow. Uh, the Amiku 500. By the way, I had an Amiga 500 and it was amazing. I remember playing DuckTales on that thing. One of my favorite games on there, and Prince of Persia, which was brutal at the time. I mean, it's still a brutally hard game, but for a kid, small kid, yeah. I was really stressed out. The marketing campaign for your game has been completed. All right, now, no, no, no more marketing. You're just gonna keep working. You're gonna help out in the last few steps. Uh, new record for music, new record for gameplay. Not very balanced. Let's find a publisher. This is a economic simulation, and that's for Taitu. Oh, the share really sucks, though. Four dollars, that's sad. Sure. Let's see how it does. No games has, has the same theme. <laughs> They're fools by manager. <laughs> All right, 38%, that's actually not very good. That was probably a big fail. We're gonna develop a game update for that. Let's say a bug fix and some new game modes. All right. Your employees want more cabinets. More cabinets? Okay. Sure thing. Where would those be? Because I have no idea. Uh, those ones. Okay. Bully cabinets. Sh sure. Sure. Uh, have one. What, what how would you like this one? Like a small round floor one. Is that is that you know what I'll I'll get you a bigger one. I'll get you one of these. Uh right in front of the water cooler, so you cannot possibly use that thing. Uh let's rotate you. Okay, I hope that makes them happy. Right now they're not doing anything, so I'm just gonna let them do some contract stuff. This looks good. Yes. We should have more than enough work power here. Fantastic, while wow, we're selling a little bit of stuff. Uh, let's do graphics. We're raking in a little bit of money, not too much though. And we're gonna develop another game update. Let's go with new campaigns, new objects, new game modes, and a bug fix. 30,000. I hope that's worth it. I hope they don't take the game off the market. Ooh, the Mus Engine. Let's check that out. The Mus Engine. That's an interesting name. 15 features, 32% profit sharing. Optimized for RPGs. What is currently, by the way, in here? Jump and run and planes. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna participate with one game with Mad Games Tycoon on an expo. And we get, oh, 15,000 visitors. Nearly 5,000 more fans. 
And you already have many loyal fans, you should hire a few people to take care of the fans. Support is now available. I don't have the space! And they're sad, why are they sad? You need more staff for your support team. <gasps> are you kidding me? Okay. Since we, we're gonna remove that room, yes. And we're gonna put the customer support in here, I guess. Uh, here, customer support. Or is that, is that, is that a same? Like a, like a, um, community. Uh, customer support, yeah. Assistance to customers and fans. Sure, let's do that. Except, um, here you go. Uh, I'm gonna need two chairs, uh, two desks. Uh, one desk will do fine, I think. I, I'll just hire one person for the thing. For the thing. Here you sit in the back. Just one. And uh, I guess I will have to hire someone for that position. Uh, that's gonna be Mark Potter. Yeah, you wanna be a game developer? No. You're gonna be hired for my... Wait, how do I hire you? Oh, I don't... Oh, oh, he wants a cola machine. Intriguing. Intriguing. They have, they have weird needs. <laughs> that guy wants a toilet. Well, I guess you're good enough if you, if you if you like it here because we have a toilet. This is the place for you. I got so many toilets. I got two of them. It's crazy, right? All right, let's do a training course. Uh, course of game programming. Uh, who is the one? Who is the programmer? 25, 24, 30. Okay, Weasel's gonna get some training. Christian's gonna get some training. Michelle. Yeah, let's get Michelle some. Who's it? Frank? Let's get Michelle some training. Okay, while they do that, um, Thomas is going to develop a game. Ah, sorry, not develop a game, develop a game update just to give Mad Games Tycoon a little bit of an extra push. Bug fix and a security update. All right, and uh, what are we doing here? Start a fan campaign. Telemarketing effect, signature cards, game giveaway. Ooh, an open day. Yeah, let's do an open day. It's gonna make fans happy. Look how happy they are. I hope the update brings in a little bit more cash. It does, fantastic. Did I buy the new engine? Yes, I did, the Mus engine. 30%, that's pricey. Ooh, mouse driver. Research genres, features. There's so many features to be researched. But I don't, oops, sorry. Cancel research, I don't wanna make my own engine now. All right, they're still learning. We already finished this. Do we got some contract work? No, we don't. I guess it's time to develop. Actually, it's time to research planes. Jump and run in planes. I still don't know how that's gonna work out, but that's fine. Let's go and research planes. I think planes and simulation will go together well, but hey, who am I other than a gamer? All right. It's gonna work fine when they're done. Planes. I'm gonna even gonna be able to research another topic. Um, something for simulation. Economy simulation. That's probably a really good combination of things. Okay, we got the game programming course done. And I can now use that for games. Cool. We're gonna make a plane jump and run. Whatever that is going to look like. Um, let's drag everyone in here. Do I have one more? Oh yeah, he's running around here. Good, I got all of them. Let's develop a game. Can't do successor yet. I'm gonna unlock that minimum match 70% pass in a game. Okay, I haven't reached that yet. Let's go ahead and re uh, get... Where is it? Jump and run. Select the topic. Planes. Subgenre. Mm. High realism and great graphics. Oh! Okay, it only tells me for this what it wants. Uh, we got, we got, what did I pick? Jump and run in planes. Planes doesn't tell me what it wants. That's okay. The better we get. Okay, a, a plane jump and run. L not look. Jump browser. <laughs> Luft browsers would be Luft. Um, let's let's call it Luft Jumpers. 
Luft jumpers. By the way, uh, Luft Rollers that I played on my channel. Great game. Fun, fun to pick up. Uh, without engine, no. With the new Aki engine. Wait. Wait! I bought a new engine, didn't I? I, I bought another engine. Would you please... Oh, sorry. I didn't want to pick that up. That was a mistake. Uh, buy engine. The must engine. Oh, I didn't buy it. My bad. Sorry, I thought I would have bought it, but I did not. All right. Luft jumpers. And it's gonna be as they want the jump and run with planes. I still don't understand this. And with the new MUS engine. Yes, all those cool things. It's gonna be for PC and the Nintendo. All right, they want gameplay, they want story, they can get all these things. We still have our new copy protection. Atmosphere functions. Uh, let's go ahead and go for atmosphere. Some a little bit more beginner friendly, a little bit more for the casual gamer. There you go. We're really good with graphics, so I'm gonna set a priority a little bit more to technology and sounds. And gameplay. Really put this like at 10%. Yeah, like this. Graphics won't be the best, but eh. Right, we're gonna do these languages, not the whole bunch. It's pricey. Ow! Okay, yeah, scrolling is fine. Parallax scrolling, oh. I like that this makes sense. Like the text support, no, nobody wants this. Here, 256 color support. Um, that makes a whole lot of sense. A whole lot of sense. That you can have like ASCII support with colors. Uh, and parallax scrolling. I mean, ASCII and parallax scrolling is... I'm, no. Not, not really. <laughs> Um, in Game Dev Tycoon, you still could have these features in your engines, which was confusing. So I like that you can just turn them on and off. Let's start development and hope that we get a great game. Um, I kind of want to hire another one employee. Um, you want a heater? You, we have those. Life is good, isn't it? Uh, you go ahead and create a marketing campaign. I want to be a... Let's go local magazines, it's fine. Uh, for Luft Jumpers. That's great. And you're working on the open day. Your publisher has launched a marketing campaign for the game. Very good. Uh, the company has taken the Amiku 1000 from the market. Yeah, that didn't... I think that one didn't do too well, if I remember correctly. The Amiga 1000. Might be wrong, though. The marketing campaign has been completed. Sure. Uh, let's... Assign you another task. You can research something in the meantime. Research. Maybe a genre. RPG fighting game. I don't know what they would like to see next. You know what? You're gonna go and research some topics. I would like to see some... Mm, colonization. Sure. Why not? Go ahead. Knock yourself out. And I'm gonna buy another chair, another desk. Can I? Yes, I can squeeze another one in here. Very good. Then we can help out with the stuff. Anything? No. Still no reward for me. Oh, look at that money dwindling down. We spent a lot for that development. Sega will bring in a few months to Sega Mega Station. Okay, oh, Mad Game Tycoon makes a little bit more money. Not too much. It only made a profit of 47,000. Yeah, it wasn't that good. <sighs> Look at that. Look at that. We're not doing too well on the graphics. I was hoping we'd do a little bit better. Well, we're at least really good with technology and gameplay, I think. Well, I think that's gonna go up with the different um, parts we're developing for. Um, I wonder if I'll be able to put another desk in here. Possibly not. That's okay. Uh, you were researching. I'm gonna let you create a flyer campaign for Luft Jumpers to make that one a little bit more successful. All right, minus 300,000. Ooh, I'm scared. Uh, I hope this is not gonna kill us now. I'm always on the brink. I need a really good hit. All right, what do they want? 
They're boiling. Some ceiling fans should solve the problem. They have ceiling fans. Sure, have have a few more. Uh, let's put one in the staff room. Maybe a second one here. I know it gets really warm in a tight office like that. Okay. That should help. Okay, we have the flyer done. Let's make the fans happy while we're working on it. Ah, uh, this hurts to see. I wish it told me when I was reaching my limit. Well, we will be able to get this before we hit 400,000, I hope. No, we're not gonna participate in that expo. Even though it would probably be a good thing. And we did not make... We did not make the deadline. So close. But look at those record numbers. Those are record numbers. Wow. Jump and run. Mm. Who likes jump and runs? A blue ocean. We already have some good relationships with them. Seven dollar share. It's very good. They're all interested. Um, yeah, you like skill games. Accolade. Yeah, your share. You're not giving me enough money. I'll go with blue ocean. We already know those guys. Mm. Very good. <laughs> I have... There's, I'm the only game with the same theme. Ooh, yes! An 80% title, 81%, 82. Oh, that is so awesome. And I got some plus for the sounds. Graphics look pretty good. A little polish could go a long way. The sound is well done all around solid. Not too much to complain about. The control is perfection. The best control I have seen in a game. This game turned out really well. Highly recommended. Title. Very nice. Super Rare Game has received great reviews. Maybe we should eventually develop a sequel. Oh, yeah. I think so. I think so. What we should do is we should develop a game update. Just a bug fix. Super fast. Here. Here's your here's your update. And we're gonna create another marketing campaign. Uh, international game magazines for Luft Jumpers or just local magazines. That's fine. I don't wanna risk it right now. Uh, where is Ah right, Ray, you can do that. And we're gonna train a little bit. Uh, I wanna go for Graphics? Office work. Joy at work. Maybe they might be faster when they do that. Let's do that. And let's drag Weasel and Michelle and Christian in here. Eventually we're gonna make a nice big office to train them to really high levels. I would love to see that. Man, Benedict, you're slow. While wow, Luftjavers is making... We have a million! We can now produce our own games. The costs are high, but it could be worth it. Production is now available. Well, possibly. What do you want? You want a sports game with mercen- What? A mercenary sports game. I would go as far as saying that this makes no sense. But I'll, I'll research sports games in case there's some demand here. Here, you guys go and research sport games. Well, we're gonna train you guys to do a little bit better. Very good. And you're gonna train some more graphics for beginners. Should've probably gone for the more expensive version. <laughs> okay. Skullfrog. Actually, I don't I don't care too much what anyone else releases. You can turn this off, by the way. Oh sorry. No, no, don't 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 sell that. Don't just put it back in the office. Very good. Uh, you can turn this off if you go here and you can say disable message, NPC released game. And also I can save the game. All right. ATC Predict. Yeah, I might buy that eventually. Your publisher launched a campaign. Man, selling money, 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 money. Fantastic. This makes me happy. 2.4 million. I'm just gonna stick with the size of this office for now. Ooh. Am I gonna get... Well, I was hoping. I was hoping for it, but nope, no luck. Training course, let's train something. The more expensive ones, we can't can afford that now. Oh, this is locked. What do we need to unlock this? Hmm, doesn't, doesn't tell me yet. Game design, the comprehensive topic. Sure, you guys go and learn that. While I develop a game update for Luft Rousers. New campaigns, start development. Let's drag one person over here. So the update is a little bit fa faster. Uh, 
Let's strike all three over here to make this as fast as possible. Come on, keep working on it. I wanna, I wanna give him update. I wanna milk this one. Yeah, it's still selling really, really well. Fantastic. All right, nice big update. That's gonna make people happy. We're gonna drag them back to researching the sports genre. And mercenaries, sports mercenaries. It's like Blood Bowl, isn't it? Blood, blood, blood Bowl. And if you think about it, football players are kind of mercenaries. You know, you hire them for their skills. I guess. Sport wants realism and smart computer opponents. I can see that. So, well, let's research topics. I do don't have sport, I think, so uh, we'll have to find that one. Martial arts, stone age. Oh, wait, mercenaries, not. I, I just researched sport. Right, that's fast. You're still learning here. Very well. And then we have 50 weeks to finish this one up. All right, I think we're doing really well. 3.4 million. We might go for something bigger, but um, let's make one more game with our newly skilled uh, developers in the next one. It's gonna be a game about sports and mercenaries, whatever that's going to be. Uh, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.